It's hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another haul. I haven't done a haul in a really long time. I did really, really good, you guys. But today's video is a haul of a bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. Like a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hope we reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Give us a big thumbs up. And let's get into the video. I have used some of it. I haven't. Um, but if you want to see a dedicated review video over any of these, just let me know. So, oh, we're going to go ahead and just jump in. Um, so I just filmed a review over this collection, which you probably saw. I'm, I'm actually getting it all out right now. Um, so that is what this look is. It's a review over the entire collection, which is awesome. It's really, really stinking cool. Um, so I will leave that linked up in the cards and in the description box. So the collection that I'm talking about, I'm getting everything out here so I can put it all back in this box because it's there. there's a lot. So the collection I'm talking about is the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection. So I bought the entire collection to do a review video over it. I just filmed it, like I said, and I purchased quite a bit from ColourPop. Quite a bit. So we'll start with ColourPop, since majority of it is ColourPop. So, with the collection, you get these stickers, which are really cute. And then we'll just start with these. I'm not going to swatch anything from the collection, just because I did a review video over it. So you get two blushes. This one is Flower Power. It's actually the blush that I'm wearing right now. Looks like this. It's really, really pretty. It's like a baby pink it's like a light pink it's really really stinking pretty so I've actually already like I said I've already used this color I'm just gonna stick it back in here and then you get a uh, flower tender which is this one right here I was so torn on which blush to use it's really pretty this one has more of like a gold shimmer in it it reminds me a lot actually of where is it right here it reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm. Okay, so they are different. This one's definitely like a brighter pink, but they're very similar. So I think if you have Orgasm and you can't get a uh, Flower Tender, it's not a huge deal. They're very similar. This one has a slight more pink and gold in it, um, but they are similar. I didn't realize that when I was filming, but um, I realized it now. So we just came from that video. Um, there's that for you as well so i have that i'm putting everything back in the boxes i'm sorry then i have this this is the billionaire the packaging's really cute this is the glitterly obsessed glitter gel and it looks like this i actually have this on right now under my uh, on my lower lash line looks like this um I I've never used a product quite like this before. I was very intrigued, but like I said, I did a whole video on this, so you can go check that out over there. All right, and then we have this balloon pop. Packaging again is so stinking cute. It is the Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. This is actually what I use as a highlighter and it's too dark for my skin tone, so you can kind of see it. But this is what it looks like right here. Look at that shine. It just catches the light so stinking beautifully. So pretty. All right, then we have the True Friends uh, Pressed Powder Palettes. These are four quads and I used all of these today so we have this one which is five star island which looks like this blah, blah, blah. then we have la belle of the ball the shade right here is calling my name i mentioned that in the review but beautifully and then what a hoot is this one this is like the perfect palette i think it's so stinky cute you guys know i'm not a huge fan of quads they're not really my thing i prefer full-on palettes but i was impressed with these this is nook ink like that i don't know how much use i'll get of them though um just because like i don't use quads all that often so i don't know then we have 
these three things. So these are the Just a Tint Mini Duos. There are three of them. So this one is Fruit Roots, and I swatched all of these in that review video. So we have Orange Cutie, which is this one, and Peach Surprise, which is this one. They're really, really stinking cute. I love the packaging on this. ColourPop has really cute packaging. Like their stuff is always packaged so cute. It's, I love it. And this one is Fruit Basket. And it comes with Juicy Apple and Cherry Cherry. So you can kind of see there. Like I said, I swatched all of these on my hand in the video. But if you want like a lip swatch video, let me know in the comments or on social media. And I will gladly do that for you. I just don't want to have another like 45 minute long video. I'm trying to be quick today. I know it's probably still going to be like 15 minutes, if not longer. But I'm trying to be fast. This is Pick of the Bunch. I talk too much. If you know me in person, you know this. Uh, Coconut Juice is this one. And then Incomparable is this one. This shade, stunning. The lids, have you have to like push them and they have to snap on. I do wish that the crown itself went down further than this. Um, just because I keep like scuffing them. Um, that's kind of like a nitpicky thing though, if I'm being like real honest. I can get past it. I would just prefer if they didn't do that. Okay. So that is the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection. We have that out of the way. Then I used one of these and I will just go quickly through them and tell you the shade names in case you want a specific look with a shade. So just let me know. So these are eyeliners. So I got the Fade Into Hue. I think it's what it's called. Collection. Color Me Obsessed cream gel liner roll which is what this is and it comes with the roll and I used one of these today so let me go ahead and pull all of these out just real quick I got these for some upcoming videos and they're like really wedged in here I'm sorry I should have done this before I started filming but we're already here so the one I used today on my waterline is Icebreaker. It's this mint shade right here. It went on very, very smooth. I don't know if you guys can like see it. Yeah, you can. It went on very, very smooth. It didn't pull my uh, waterline, which I love. It was very, very nice. I was really impressed. I've never tried a liner from ColourPop before, but you see them everywhere because they have like a million shades and I really, really liked it. So you'll definitely see these in upcoming videos for sure, for sure, for sure. Then we have, I think some of these might actually be also in here. Um, so if that's the case, I will give them away because I don't need both, but I got two sets of eyeliner. So this one is Exit, it's just a white. And then we have Good Reef, which is a coral. Then we got Peach Fuzz. This is a super cute light pastel -y peach color. Then we have the yellow, which is extra frosting. It's a pastel yellow. It's not like a very bright yellow. Oh my God, these are not wanting to go back in here. This is Katsu. It's like a teal. It's really, really, really pretty. If, again, if you want to see any of these liners in a specific look, like you want to see a liner as a star, let me know. This one is Prance. It's a periwinkle. Then we got Cry Baby, which is like a really light lavender. We got Amethyst Hour. This one's really, really pretty. And we got three more from this collection. We have Piggy Bank, which is this one, and then Joyride. And then finally, we have Charmer, which is this one right here. Collection, I didn't put them back in there nearly as neat as they were when I brought them out. But that is all the eyeliners from this roll. Again, if you wanna see one, like use in a video, uh, just let me know so you, so I know to use it, to make sure I actually use it. But that was all the colors on um, there. And I, if you wanna do, if you want me to do a swatch video, I will as well. Just let me know again, cause I don't want this video to be super long. I've already been filming for 10 minutes. Um, I'm trying to make my video short for once, but that is this. Then I have the color outside the liner. BFF cream gel liner collection, which I'm pretty sure some of those are duplicates in this. Um, 
So I'll give, obviously, if I have duplicates, I'll give one away. I have some friends that really want some new makeup, so I don't need all the dupes or all the same shades. So these are not nearly as hard to get out. They're just like dumped in. So we have the black, which is Swerve. Uh, Call Me, this one right here, it's like a brown. Then we have Overboard, which is like a goldy topaz. It's really, really cute. And then we have Get Paid, it's a bronze. Dirty Talk, which is a gold. We have a silver, which is Kicker. This is gonna be awesome in the waterline. Whoop, dropping it. This is Honey Dude, it's a nude. I actually don't have any nude eyeliner, so that really cool. Exit, so we do have a dupe, or a duplicate, not a dupe. Piggy Bank, also a duplicate. Crybaby, also a duplicate. DTLA. Prance, also a duplicate. Fast Lane. Teaspoon, this one's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with green, so I'm really excited about that. And then we have some neon shades, which I'm really excited about. So we have Zulu, which is this one. Um, units, I think, it's kind of smeared. It's this neon orange. Electric Daisy, this one is awesome. Then we have, what is this? Crossed, I think it's a neon yellow. I wanna swatch that one. I know I said I wasn't, but I'm going to. Insomniac, which is this pink, and then we have Punch. I'm gonna swatch this neon yellow, because I am intrigued. You're kidding. You're kidding. I'm gonna show you this, all right. I'll. Just watch this one too. This is um, units, I think. So watch how, watch how pigmented this is. Are you ready? Are you watching? Okay. Can you see? Okay. Ready? I like barely pressed on my skin. I mean, obviously it's a shitty swatch, but look at that color. Are you fucking kidding me? Now I want to swatch more. I'm gonna swatch the green and then I'll move on. I promise. Uh-huh, yep, that's the neon green. Yep, okay, yep, yep, I made a good decision. So I obviously have four duplicate eyeliners. I'm gonna leave these untouched and I will just give them to friends. Um, they will be very, very happy to receive those, obviously. Uh, I constantly am giving makeup to people, constantly. I'm constantly like my friends. Uh, my family, I'm constantly like, here you go. I went through my makeup the other day. I don't really use this. I did a review over this and I haven't really touched it since. Like, for sure, for sure, for sure. I have a really bad habit of opening everything though, even if I don't end up using it. So I can't donate it because it has been opened. Um, especially right now with like COVID regulations, a lot of places aren't accepting them, but I give them to friends, family. Um, Caitlin's mom has a bunch of stuff. Like I just keep giving people things. I'm like, here, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Dang it, I have too much. Okay, then we have two more things from ColourPop and then we can move on. So we have two palettes. Of course, Midori, this is palettes. You guys know me. This is the Fade Into Hue, which I believe came with this. I think I bought, I bought the collection. I think it was that. I'm really excited about this palette. I saw it online. First off, the packaging is, I love the feeling of it. It feels like the Lorac palette. It's like that soft matte. This is the packaging, so cute. I need to stop talking so fast. And this is what she looks like. She got a little dinged up in the mail right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but look at that. This is Rainbow Heaven. Um, there's a lot of pressed glitters in here, which I like pressed glitters. A lot of people don't, but I do. ColourPop has really nice ones, and this is a really bright, fun, colorful palette. And I literally am obsessed with it. Like these, this middle row right here, screaming my name with that green eyeliner that I just swatched. Yes, ma'am. That would be so stinking cute. So stinking cute. You'll see this in a video, I'm sure. You will, but if you want a review, as always, let me know and I will gladly film that for you. Um, yeah, I'm really intrigued by it. I haven't really seen anybody talk about the Fade Into Hue palette. I feel like ColourPop released um, the Animal Crossing collection and then they did Bambi and um, people like were really excited about those. So some of their other launches I feel like haven't really been talked about that much because ColourPop 
releases so much stuff and they have so many collections out right now. And I can't get that to go back in there, but that is that. And then we have one more palette from ColourPop, which is the Making Mauves. I was gonna get the Blowing Smoke, but I decided against it. I still might pick it up, um, but I didn't get it this time. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is, I'm just throwing the things over here. This is what she looks like right here. This is just a mauve, obviously toned palette. I don't have another palette that is strictly mauves and it's more cool toned for me. I have a lot of warm tones and lately I've been really into colorful palettes obviously um and i don't really have a whole lot of palettes that look like this i don't have one that looks just like this anyway um so i picked that up the entire mauve collection that they dropped is stunning same with the taupe one the taupe one a lot of people didn't like but i i love the look of it i almost bought it but i didn't i was good i spent way too much money anyway okay so now i have quite a bit more stuff we have a lot of this is drugstore but i do have quite a bit of high end as well so i have some more eyeliners um these are all from the same line i bought them over a month ago so i have some of this stuff i've had for a while but this is the these are the nyx epic wear liner sticks i've used quite a bit of them in uh videos so if you've watched any of my recent uploads they've been used because I didn't have any colorful liners. I didn't actually plan on ordering the ones from ColourPop, but I saw them and I could not resist because I have a lot of colorful looks coming up and I thought they'd be perfect. So I have a bunch of these. These are really, really nice. So far, I've really liked them. So I have Deepest Brown, Blue Trip, which is this one, Periwinkle Pop, which was really pretty, Cosmic Yellow, Pure White, which is a solid white, and then Silver Lining and Gilded Taupe. So I'll swatch this yellow next to the ColourPop one and you can see the difference. This one is definitely more gold. So this one is the next one that is ColourPop. So this one's more gold. So they're not the same. The white is probably going to be the same because it's white. Um, these are not as creamy as the ColourPop ones. Um, they still have really good pigment. Um, pigment wise, they're probably about the same. These aren't as creamy as the ColourPop ones. So far, I can't tell you if the ColourPop ones last longer or not. These do last a really long time. Um, I've been using them, like I said, for probably about a month now, if not a little over, uh, if not close to two months. And I do like them. I've been using them a lot recently. And yeah, they have a bunch of colors, not nearly as many as ColourPop does, but they have a bunch of colors. The ColourPop ones, you can get like all of them in a kit together these you have to buy individually so depending on what you want um it just depends then we have the maybelline lash sensational sky high i use this mascara today i also used it in bad idea i believe so far i really like this mascara in bad idea i do compare it to the benefit bad girl bang the wand um i'll just pull up bad girl bang because it's right in front of me so let me just pull it out here it's somewhere in here here it is i'm not wearing my glasses so i can't see so this is the benefit bad girl bang wand and this is the sky high wand so they are similar but they are different as well um i like both so far i'm a big fan of sky high um it's really really pretty they are very lengthy very volumizing uh, I still think the original Lash Sensational is my favorite though, but still like this. Still giving it a shot. This is only my second day using it, so I'm still kind of testing the waters with this guy. We have one palette from Too Faced, one from Morphe, one from Anastasia. So we're going to start with Too Faced because it is a palette that I've used before and I've used it in a video. So this is the Pumpkin Spice palette. I used this, I think, in Seven Rings, um, which is already up on my channel whoa i dug my finger into that but that's okay this is the packaging here you guys know how i feel about Too Faced palettes i love them i'm obsessed with them this is pumpkin spice right here beautiful smells like pumpkin spice it's so stinking beautiful it's warm tone this is like my palette like my type of palette and I really, really do like it. So I noticed the other day when I was going through my collection, I was just kind of trying to reorganize unsuccessfully that this palette, the Pumpkin Spice, 
is basically these two palettes put together. Um, they're not exactly the same, but if you have these, or at least one of these, you don't need that. So that was the pumpkin spice. This is the gingerbread spice. This is from 2018, 2019, I think. Um, that is gingerbread spice. And then gingerbread extra spicy is this one. So as you can see, they're not exactly the same, but there are definitely some similarities. This is pumpkin again. This is extra spicy. There's similarities between these two. And then if you take gingerbread spice, and add it to the mix as well. Very similar. Again, they're not, neither one of them are exactly the same. Even if you have both of these, it won't equal that. But the shades are so similar that if you have one of these, you probably don't need this. Um, these two are also very similar. They're meant to be like sister palettes almost. So I kind of understand where they're going with the pumpkin and the gingerbread and the warm tones, but they are similar. So if you have these two and you couldn't get this one, it's not a huge deal. I had to have it because I can't stop myself from buying Too Faced palettes, but like this guy a lot. I've used it, uh, I think, twice now, and both times I really liked it. But it's a Too Faced palette. You guys knew how I am with those. Then we can quickly do the Morphe palette because I have some comparisons to do with the other palettes. So this one will be the fastest, and then we're done. So this I haven't even touched yet. I just got it yesterday. This is the Morphe Madison Beer Channel Surfing Palette. Um, first off, I love Madison. So that was, the, that was the only reason I bought this palette was because I like Madison Beer. And um, the palette itself is really, really pretty. I don't like that it has a name sheet. These annoy, somebody's yelling outside. These annoy the hell out of me. Um, I wish that they would have printed the names, but that's okay. Uh, it's just, again, me being nitpicky. But this is what the palette looks like. It's just a nice, everyday, simple palette. However, this row right here swatched, like this whole row, looks beautiful. So I had to have it when I saw the swatches, and I love Madison, so I also had to purchase it for that reason. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was this. I haven't really seen a whole lot of people talk about this in all honesty and i was really excited when i saw swatches of it online because i wasn't even going to purchase this and i saw swatches of it and then i had to have it and yeah did i need this palette no um it does look very similar to some of the other palettes that i have but i also have like over 70 eyeshadow palettes so take that as you will um but it looks really pretty i like morphe um shadows i don't have very many palettes by morphe but every palette that i do own by them i do like um yeah so that is madison beer and we're gonna put her back in her box real quick all right and then we have some bigger palettes that i gotta get out from the very 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 bottom so i finally purchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pressed Pigment Pro Pigment Palette Volume 4. This has now been out, I think, close to a year, maybe. Um, yeah. Love the baby pink. This is what Pro 4 looks like right here. Right here. Look at that. Stunning. Yeah, 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 yeah. This D2 shade, well, let's hold it this way. D2, right here, this neon, screams to me. I mean, screams to me. I wanted to use this so bad today, but I really needed to film the ColourPop review. So, this will probably either be used in a music and makeup tutorial or a review video. Again, if you want a review, let me know. But I'm gonna very quickly show you the other three full size. I do have all three of the minis as well, but I'm not gonna show you them um, just because this is obviously a full size so this is volume two looks like that so you can see this is blue and like green mainly blue but blue and green then we have my personal favorite volume three coarse warm tones the look i made with this was everything and then we have volume one right here which is like purple so 
The shades in volume four are very different. Um, as you can see, it's very pink and like girly and it's so cute. It's so pretty. I was obsessed with this when I saw it launch and I was never able to pick it up. And then I was finally able to snatch it and I actually got it um, on like a cheaper price with some of my Sephora points. So that was really nice. So haven't used it yet, um, but I have used all six of the other ones. That's the three big ones and the three minis. Um, and I love them, so I have really high hopes for this. I really like pressed pigments, and Anastasia's are really, really nice. So I already have a home picked out for that, but these three do live in my bottom drawer, if you've seen um, me post on Instagram or anything, because these are heavy, because they're pressed pigment pouts. They have a lot of weight to them, and they're really big, like they're, they're massive. So if you have them, they're kind of hard to store, but they're fantastic nonetheless. So I've only used one of these palettes. These are all by Lunar Beauty. I, listen, I went on the Lunar Beauty website and I like blacked out, like things, things happened, okay? Because I used this palette now over a year ago. This is Strawberry Dream and I loved it so freaking much. I had to have all the palettes. The only one I'm missing is uh, Life's a Drag because it's sold out, but I am going to purchase that as well. So this is Strawberry Dream. I've had this now for, like I said, over a year. Um, love this. I've used it in a video. But the one I got, I need to pause myself. I got the three other permanent ones minus um, Life's a Drag, so that's stock. So the only one I've used so far though is Greek Goddess. Um, looks like this the packaging is unreal out of this world un freaking real so this is greek goddess it's like a nice neutral palette it reminds me of almost like the Too faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette but not as warm this is more i mean it's warm and not as warm if that makes sense like the blue i really really liked this i've only used it once which was the day before yesterday and I used it with another palette, um, but the shades I did use, I loved. And like I said, I love Strawberry Dream, so I had to have this as well. Um, yes, yes, please give me this. Um, the formula, it's pigmented, it's blendable, it's so easy to work with. It is a fantastic formula, like the formula is so good. I bought this at Sephora, um, because I really liked this bottom color for row. Like I saw it and I just had to have it. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I have that. Then I have Moon Spell, which looks like this. And it's like a little sleeve, it's like a booklet. Oh, wrong side. Looks like a little book. The packaging is really, really cute. And then we have the sheet and the shades. I haven't used this one yet, obviously, um, but this bottom row is, everything to me those are like the shades i love i'm not a huge person i'm not really big on purples um, i do use them quite frequently but i'm not they're not something i typically gravitate towards but this row down here is everything and i have really high hopes for this palette because i love the other one and i was really impressed with greek goddess as well so definitely be using that but the one that i'm most excited about that i absolutely had to have was this one I just myself the face. This is Eternal Eclipse. The shades in here. Girl, stop. I can't get it open. <laughs> the shades in here. First off, the packaging. It's like a 3D moon. Um, it's the same on Strawberry Dream. Like the moon bulges out. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But packaging. Unreal. And the shades. This is a cooler toned palette for me. I don't have a whole lot of palettes that look like this. If you saw my palette collection, you'll be like, wow, that's so different for you. It really, really is. But it is so beautiful. Isn't that just like the smoky dream? Like I'm obsessed with it. And if you compare it to the one that I've had for a while, Strawberry Dream, very different. Very, very different. This is very bright and colorful. This is like dark and smoky and cool. And I'm obsessed with it. I cannot wait to use this. Like I, 
honestly i have so many great palettes right now i have so many great palettes in my collection in general um but i have so many great formula palettes here like formula wise because i've tried all the formulas from all these brands i guess i've tried all the brands um and i love them all hopefully they're all good but if you would like a review video over any of them or a comparison video um just let me know in the comments or on social media as always that was my haul i'm not as crazy as last time last time i did a haul i had a lot more i believe still a lot a lot of palettes as always you guys know coming into my hauls you should expect a shit ton of palettes um, I think that is everything. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave my notification bell so you know when I upload. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video.